Thank you. Good morning or good day. My name is Great Grandmother Mary Lines. I'm from the um, Invisible Line on Turtle Island. I'm Anishinaabe. I'm from the Ojibwe tribe. I sit with you and I'm in such an enjoyment with all my sisters here from New Zealand, from Seattle. I were from down in the southern area, Arizona and New Mexico. And it's such an honor to be with you all. I'd like to share with you um, an opening smudge pair so we can start this in a good way. Creator, I wash my hands in the sweet smoke so that they may be constructed and reach out to others in a good way. For this is the courage that was bestowed on each of us. We bring the smoke over our head and down our back to lighten our troubles and bring clarity of purpose for this will move in honesty. We smudge your eyes so that we will see good things in people and learn from them as each person we see will hold with respect. We smudge your mouth so that we will speak good things to people and learn to choose our words carefully for hence we will bring the truth of our ancestors forward. We smudge your ears so that we will listen carefully to others, learn from what they say and become someone they want to talk to. For this, we move with our wisdom. We bring the smoke towards us to surround our hearts so that what has been damaged can heal and what pain is to come will help us to be strong and grow in a good way. For this, we should never forget unconditional love. We wash our feet in the smoke so that we may walk a path of full of purpose, compassion, balance, and kindness. For thus we will move swiftly with humility. May the smoke wash over each of us, collect our messages of gratitude, and gather our worries. Let them rise up to the sky world. May our ancestors see that we live with good intentions. The day and its moments will matter so much more when you allow yourself to matter more. Take care of your emotions, your health, your happiness by taking the time to be selfish with good reasons. The world will keep spinning, the air will keep moving, the warmth of the fires will continue to dance and the waters will continue to flow. So just breathe in the appreciations and exhale all the garbage of your overworked superpowers of caring too much. Be selfish to declutter your downloads of stored info. Then let the passages of gratitude appear clearly. Now go dance amongst the universe when you sleep and walk lightly here on Mother Earth. Water, air, fire, and earth is life. Chimi Gitch, may we start this conversation in a good way. Mm. For me within the area um, that we've been experiencing, we've been experiencing many hardships and uh, a lot of disparities uh, and it seems to be coming quickly and how each one of us is handling it um, is gonna be our own truth and how we move forward in this world. We can either embrace the weight and as that weight is being put back into Mother Earth and the spirit moves on, we can stay within that weight of tears, or we can take those memories and uplift us and bring us the smiles that we can move forward and carry their medicines forward to all. This is the day that I choose to do it myself, and it's very rarely that I say I, but lately I have been because these are challenging times. And within these times, we've been finding our own strength. We've been finding our own kind of like our own uh, report card on how we're doing here in this world and being gratitude and going through those seven teachings of our grandfathers. So I just wanna say humbly to my sisters and to all who's listening in this stuff, it's just a time to just sit within your own peace in your own quiet and to take in 
where you're at, what you're doing and what's important to you. And then move forward in a good way and with a new breath because we are in a new day. So I want to say, Jimmy Butch. Thank you for that beautiful opening me to join um, my sisters and to be able to share a message um, with the world and with each other. Um, these will always continue to be trying times, but it's what we do in the midst of these times and the commitments that we make to make the world better, even though we see it can be crumbling around us. Uh, many of the commitments that I have chosen to make, and I have to post reminders to myself to continue to do this. I wear these earrings because they represent the murdered and Mrs. Indigenous women, and the hands are inside the earrings. I wear this necklace with a little angel with the heart in it, and the color is orange because I will always continue to remember our children. And I carry this doll with me because of the children that have suffered and the children that will continue to suffer amongst the midst of our change, our changing world. I continue to spread the message that this is a part of our being and this is the part of our prophecies that we were told that this time would come, but this time it's not over. We still have a few more years ahead of us that we will have to go through these trials. And it's what we do in the midst of all this is what's important. My phrase at this point is hope. And hope stands for me to continue to honor our place on earth, H-O-P-E. And by doing that, I have stressed three, four important points. It's time for us to reconnect with each other. It is time for us to release things that no longer work for us. It is time for us to create the relationships that are going to promote what we want in the world. And it is time for us to rebuild. And those are important things that we have to start to, to take into our lives, but not to forget the things that have created us. We made a commitment with our elder group here in Phoenix that we will wear orange any place on our body for 225 days. And March 4th is the day that we will, we will stop making this our conscious commitment. And this is in remembrance of the children. The orange is for our children. And 225 represents the number of children that were found in Canada when the first recognition of these children was promoted. The next thing that I would like to leave with all of you is the many, many trials and tribulations that we have gone through. I just lost one of my best friends and it was very, very difficult realizing that this is happening all over the world. But she was a friend that never complained. She never had a bad word to say, yet she was so crippled with rheumatoid arthritis that every movement that she made in her body was a pain, but yet she never shared that pain with anybody. The beauty was in her heart. She had no, no pain in her heart, even though her body was entangled with pain. And I honored and respected her for that. So my prayer for today is one that I wrote as I was thinking about what we would share today, and it's called fear. Fear, I pray for the day that I won't let fear be my master. When fear whispers in my ear and says, you are not strong enough, I will shout back and say, you just watch me. When fear tells me they won't listen to you, or accept your words. I will gently say, but I will continue to teach and share. When fear says you will experience great pain and grief and you will hurt, I will stand and say, 
I will trust that creator has a plan. I will let pain and grief guide me. I know that you're around fear, but you are not my master. My master is faith and love. And with faith and love, I will stand in my power and my purpose. And I know that my purpose is to con continue to teach and continue to bring joy and laughter to the universe. And I have discovered that there are two tools that I needed to add to my toolbox. And that is WD-40 and duct tape. WD-40 for things that won't move and that are hard to move, just spray them. Duct tape is for the things that move around too much and you need them to be still. So I love you all, continue to laugh, carry around your duct tape in case you become a squeaky wheel, then you can spray yourself. Or if you think you're moving too fast, then tape yourself down. Love you all. Thank you for this time. Laura Pursley. Ko tainu i te waka. Ko maunga tautari te maunga. Ko waikato te awa. Ko te ko raukawa te iwi. Ko tukurehe te hapu. Ko eila toku ingoa. Good morning, Fano. I'd like to share a prayer from Aotearoa, New Zealand, where I'm I'm reside, and particularly in Otaki at the moment. E mihiana ki te kotahi tanga pūre ko i hoki te tino te matua te aroha o te fakaro tahi me te atahua. Kāore he tanga te koa tuiai a i fakakotahi te nga wairua tūra makato. Ko rātou nei te whakatina na tanga o rātou kua whetu rangi te e o te nākau ārataki. Amen. Um, right now, we're in a, a big change that in my lifetime we knew was coming, but we didn't know the shape of what it would look like. And for those of us in Aotearoa, I'll just say for myself and my family, uh, we're really holding close to us our families, our families and our family ties. Uh, particularly my grandchildren. I've moved to where my daughter lives and uh, have two of the grandchildren. And tomorrow I'll see the other three that are coming down to, to visit with us. We're holding close to our family ties because more than ever have we realized the value in family. And that's why we're here today as a beautiful family. Grandmother Davy Tide heard a call from another grandmother of the heart Rose Perry years ago. And somehow the call went out that we began to gather together as a family, family of the heart. On board came Grandmother Moitu and Grandmother Mary Lyons, and then we got to meet Grandmother Pursley, Grandmother Fleur de Mayo, and many other supporters that somehow we've gathered this group of family of the heart. One of the main things that we had in common was a continual prayer for ourselves, for humanity. If we don't take care of ourselves first, how can we help others? And what was one of the messages that was gifted to us through Grandmother Rose Pere? was a um, ancient chant that she sent out with us calling for help for, from the other side, from the celestial realms, from our tipuna, our ancestors to help us in this time of great change. 
And we did that diligently. We have done that. Um, message today, us, one of our whakatauki um, is likened to proverb. Ahako he iti he ponam. I'll repeat this again. Ahako he iti he ponam. Whatever small gift you think you can gift in these times of change will be of great value and gifted. That might be a word. That might be a smile for somebody, not that they can see through the mask that we're wearing today. However, in buckets of karakia prayer, it's a tangible thing. It can be felt thousands of miles. It can cross the cosmos. We know this for sure. We have seen this in practice. And like my sisters have said, the children need our help. And the child within the adults and the child within the grandparents need help from our beautiful Papa Tuanuku, Earth Mother, from our Sky Father and all the Atua, all the guardians in between. We call on them to ask to help, help in this time. So I'm sending love from Aotearoa, from this part of the globe to anybody on the planet Stay safe. Know that you are loved. Kia ora. <clears throat> kia ora. Kia ora. Uh, kei te mihi, uh, kia koutou katoa. Uh, greetings to all of you. Um, greetings to my sisters. And um, so good to be together. Uh, maunga poha tu te maunga, tauranga te awa, tuwe te iwi, e te aroa te, uh, te uh, kaina me nga uh, uh, whenua. Uh, kia hau. Um, maunga poha tu is my mountain, tauranga is my, my river, uh, tuhoe is my tribe, my people, and e te aroa is the country that I'm from and that I live in. Um, big love to all of you, big, big, big love. And I'm the same as my sister Ayla, um, where we've come back and we're very tribal here, <clears throat> as we've just uh, explained amongst ourselves um, with what's been happening uh, <clears throat> with this big test that we're going through, this, these trials. Um, I hear what is happening, especially to my sisters in, in the States. And I mahi with, I work with um, Germany a lot. So hearing a lot of what they're going through and I am so, so happy that I'm here in my homeland of Aotearoa, where we're able to close down our borders and keep ourselves safe. So I'm the same as, as my sister Ayla, very whānau, family-based, um, spending time re recognising how precious this time at the, is to be with family. I, I babysat for two days with my great-grandchildren loved every minute of it minute of it but was so happy to leave the house because they're two and four so <laughs> so so happy <laughs> bye bye <laughs> as I walked out the door and uh, they were also saying bye bye so and of course the other the, my other kids and and keeping contact keeping contact um, knowing 
what has happened in the states with with um, because my my two sisters there and now other one who is not present, Fleur de Meyer, going through so many, so many things. And so all we can do, me and my sister Ayla, is send as much love and as much prayers to support, to help. And Davy also with all the mahi, all the work that they're doing and just sending up big bubbles of love and uh, to, to be accessed in the atmosphere. But for me, especially, and what has become the main, main focus of what I'm doing is to concentrate on love and light. Total, just love, light. I, I, praying, praying for so much light for our planet, for our people to uplift um, their hearts, to do whatever is necessary for what they're doing. But for me, that's what I'm praying for. But the, just sending it out and trying to be the as much light as possible so that I can keep keep grounded, keep connected and just be a conduit of, of love for the people, light for the people. And even here, because there is there is fear that, and that is the biggest, that is the biggest, um, what do you call that? fear of, of fear fear on top of the fear of everything and and that i find is is what the biggest battle of is at this time of not knowing what what your what your enemy is and so for me it's just been about trying to maintain the energy of love and peace and harmony and light and love and peace. But you know, the being with my mukos, my grandkids, my great grandkids, my daughter, my son, my other daughters, and just hugging and kissing them and just imagining that this is what I'm able to do is what so many are wanting to do. And just heaps of love, heaps of love. He honore he crodia kite atu he mangarongo kite whenua he whakaro pai ki nga tangata katoa. Ake, ake, amine. Peace. You know, um, honour and glory to the gods because we're praying to them so much. Praying to whoever's listening, our ancestors, all, all, all. We're calling on them all to come through to please you know, we're here to do the mahi, we're here doing the work that, that we are the conduits of. And so give us the strength so that we can help to uplift. Big, 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 big love to everybody out there. And it's over to you, Davy. Love. So my sisters are talking about so many things that all of us are thinking about. <clears throat> and it's my guess, I, I, it circled around to me to remind all of us that we are part of one huge worldwide family. And so I'm holding my, holding my amber, <laughs> my amber that travels and my amber that sits and stays steady. <clears throat> I'm holding them as the smoke keeps coming from Grandmother Mary's sage. I'm holding them as Grandmother Pershley is wearing the symbols that hold us together. I'm holding them as Grandmother Ayla is reminding us of the depth right of our prayers. Grandma Moitu's got the amethyst. Each one of us sits in the place that we've been given in the world. And we, some of us have huge extended families and some of us sit by ourselves, rooting ourselves in our connection to the whole, the whole of the human family, the whole of the world family with all of the trees and the flowers and the sand and the dirt and the lakes, the rivers, the streams the sky that we share, the air that we breathe together, 
the air that's actually the, the very life of the wholeness, the very life of our one world. So my job here is to remind us that each one of us is sitting in the right place at the right time. That the things that are in your mind and your heart, that those are the gifts that you've been given to prey on, to, um, to tend to. That every time you look out the window or take a walk and feel your feet on the ground or smile at the people around you, that you, if it's in your mind and heart, are doing the work of the divine, the divine one. None of us are sitting on the sidelines anymore. You may be in your house. You may be wearing a mask as you walk around in the street. You may be wondering if anyone remembers you're there. I'm here to tell you we remember. We remember you because we link into that wholeness every day and we feel each one of us together. So, my beautiful sisters have spoken from various places. <clears throat> we are sitting in various locations in the world with you right now. And we want to take a moment, well, actually a few minutes. I hope that's okay with all of you. <clears throat> to say a prayer for the wholeness as we move See you tonight. to the next phase. Okay, love you. <laughs> so get comfortable. And you can think about the symbols that you have that are meaningful to you. These are your power tools. These are the tools that help you remember you're not alone. For me, it's my amber. For Moitu, she's got her amethyst. Ayla's got her amethyst. Mary's the sage. Hershly, the symbols that she has and holds. And you can gather yours now. If you don't have any, I'm sharing with you. It'd be a <clears throat> perfect time to um, call in um, the unity of our voices and, and really speak about the time to recognize change, time to embrace our, our new strengths, Time to move forward in the ancestral energy of times past to open up the doorways of healthier futures. Um, time to just be and to just breathe the realities of truth. <clears throat> you know, all of us people have weathered the harshness of the oppressors, you know, throughout time. You know, it's just, I think it's just who we are as these beings here on earth. You know, they've come in many forms of uh, illnesses. They've come in many forms of taintedness within the four elements. Um, anything that will become a barrier to us, um, I think that each one of us just has to be more tentative and more alert of our surroundings and that we have to be the observers and we have to really look at that negative. And right now that negativeness is showering the world and teaching them to be lazy um, and to surrender themselves of this easy life and kind of ignoring those four elements of who we are as that oneness because those four elements shows no prejudice in our world, the entire essence of what is in inside mother earth is 
is the oneness. We all depend on one another. We all depend on just everything. And somehow that seems to be forgotten from time to time. And we start experiencing this being off balance. And for some odd reason, within many of our prophecies or many of our teachings in this stuff, all of a sudden it disappears like that. And what do we do? Because it's like, we, we, we think we're on course, but that's just it. When we think we're on course, we have this grandiose mentality is that, okay, we got it and we're doing right. But creator or as your higher being, the one you would trust yourself to reminds you that no, it's just not you. In order to hold balance, you have to have a unity within that shift before it matters because it gets real tiring standing on that teeter-totter with both feet on doing it all by yourself. So we're in this time right now that it's like, it's, it's in that roar of thunder, you know, but also within that echoing and that pausing of that breath, you know, we, we talked about that fear. We, as Anishinaabe and Madewans, we embrace that fear spirit because that's our truth. Because when we look at that fear, we look at the truth. And that's what keeps us in balance. And so, you know, we have so many that are out there right now that are suffering, that are afraid, that are just wondering, you know, what's happening with the mechanics of our, of our body. You know, our spirit's absolutely just wonderful. But this house that our spirit's in might be breaking down. And so we want to send our energy, our prayers out to those ones to know that we hold them near and dear to us. Um, and that we're with you on just about every movement where you feel you're weak. You know, let us be the voices, let us be the people, let us be the memories that helps you regain your strength. You know, it's just, we just don't want you to be alone in this, you know, because it's kind of scary being alone. But just know there's an adventure, you know. We always say we come as a student, walk as a student, live as a student. Also within that spirit, because it's moving through here, this is just one big long lesson and the body might transition and remain here, but we soar to another huge classroom that we just keep going. So the excitement's there. And I think a lot of times we see a lot of sadness is because the attachments we have with those individuals that we think we're leaving behind, but we're really not. We're really becoming a brighter light for those doorways for them to to reach us at least that's how we within our territories like to hold each one of you near and dear to us um so i want to send many many blessings and many many good energies out to the ones that are in iron in need right now and feel that fear of, of weakness that something might be happening to their bodies you know just soar through your inner universe and just praying for that healing to begin. But also know sometimes, you know, that graduation, somebody said that graduation date is upon us. So we must move forward and we must do it with such cheer. And um, that can be kind of frightening because you get so used to being in that classroom of wanting to, to hang on to it. But there's so much more. There's so much more. And I just want to say to each one of you, you know, I know my sisters and my, as well as myself. Daily, we hold everything, every being, every ounce of breath in this stuff. We just blow it to all the four winds, all the four directions, you know, up above, down below in this stuff. Just the goodness that we may just help bring some of the balance back. But I want to say to you, it was such an honor to sit with you all. And I know within my space and within your spaces, we just echo all the gifts we have from our ancestors to our future 
seeds that are yet to be born that we will be will prevail in us. We just we just will. I just know. So I think you need that. All right. <clears throat> Beautiful sisters, do you have anything else to say before we <clears throat> close with a prayer? I just I just want to again say that when you laugh, you can't feel pain or sadness. So to always remember to take time um, to, to find a joy in life, because right now it's getting kind of difficult to see that, but it's always there. It's always there. There's something, there's something there that's going to tickle your funny bone. And just like Moitu was saying earlier about sending her grandkids away. Yeah, it's, there comes a time when you just say, okay, I've had, I've had enough of being grandma. So it's time to recuperate. And I've had those days, but it's always filled with joy. And this is why Yoda has always been with me and will always be with me because he represents the laughter in the world. And it's, it's what we have to remember because when we're surrounded with so much uncertainty, then it becomes more difficult to see the joy in our life, but it's still there. I mean, have fun, have fun with every, every chance that you, you have. Have a happy meal because you need happy food. So go have a happy meal and, and take time to enjoy life. And again, it's, it's so wonderful to be with all of you once again and to be able to to share what we have been experiencing but also to to think about the people that are currently hurting and like mary so elo eloquently put it you know their bodies are doing things that are are not causing them such great joy but to learn to be patient with our bodies and know that yeah, when we get old, some things start to not operate the way that they did when we were 10. So it's like we have to know how to, to deal with that, too. But um, it's always an honor. And I forgot to introduce myself when I and I do that all the time because my memory has gone and I forget who I am. So. I, I'm, I am Percy Ami, and I'm from the Hopi Tewa tribe, and I am San Clan. And my focus is always uh, preservation and care of the water. So, and that's what we did for quite a while as we were concentrating on water. I love you all, and thank you for this time. Okay, so we come together. Let's all take hands everywhere in the world. Hands and hearts reaching around the world right now. Realizing that in our hearts, we are all connected. Toward the one, the perfection of love, harmony and beauty the only being united with all that forms the embodiment of the spirit of guidance, of the wholeness, of all that is. Let's remember our connection to the whole of the universe. our connection to the Mother Earth. And realize that each one of us has been put here with the option of being a conduit of love and harmony, of beauty and peace, of healing. And if you care to, you could make this time to feel the flow of that boundless healing power that is always there. Letting it flow around the earth, 
letting it touch all the places that need healing and succor, that need light and life and love at this time. Letting it help us to remember our connection with each other and with the wholeness. And turning to the people, helping us to remember that no matter what our minds do, no matter how they can think differently than each other, we are part of one whole family, leading with love, kindness, compassion, And now let's take a moment to turn to those who are suffering at this time. You know who those people are in your own mind and heart, letting them receive that flow of healing, letting it bring to them exactly what they need. O oh, healer of all bodies, hearts, and souls, by thy mercy, may all be healed. May the divine blessings rest upon all of us May the peace and unity of creation be remembered in all of us. May we all be blessed. Amen. <clears throat> Blessings, brothers and sisters. Blessings beautiful family all around the world. We remember you. We see you. We love you. <laughs>